What's up, community? It's been a few days. Been really busy. Schoolwork. Doing um, real estate stuff and working on photos. And I just want to check in so that I can stay accountable and keep up on my own progress here. It's been over a week since I made the choice to stop smoking weed. It's been really good. I mean, I'm also cutting back on other vices. I haven't been uh, watching porn. I haven't been getting the munchies and just chowing down. Been getting up early. Even earlier. Working on my reactions and responses to situations. I'm trying to move on, move on from my past. It's been so busy I haven't been able to head out to the woods the past few days. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going out to the coast early in the morning for a restaurant photo shoot at a Luna Sea seafood place um, it's been really good though my mood has been great lately I've been I think I've been smiling a lot more I think I've been more approachable at school You're online, even. I've been engaging a lot more. Been keeping my LinkedIn updated, working on that. Working on my DeviantArt page. It's been so long, but getting some good engagement. A lot of views on my photos that I've been uploading on there. That's pretty tight. You know, I was, I was hesitant though about quitting weed because, you know, I don't dream a whole lot when I sleep and I knew I would be. And after a few days, the dreams were okay, you know, quitting porn Quit masturbating. Kind of like a no fat semen retention type of thing. Um, the dreams were you know, more sexually oriented. But last night, nightmares started again. And for the longest time throughout my life, dreams I couldn't really remember. Unless I just woke up from them. Or wrote them down but nightmares nightmares are the ones I could re usually remember and I woke up from a uh, from a nightmare last night where wasn't anyone I knew but it involved a shooting it was uh, two guys. One of them, um, a friend, was in the car. And this other dude was outside of it just, you know, showing off. And his gun went off and hit his friend. And 
and it was really disturbing because I could see the look in his eyes and I could hear the vo the pain in their both of their voices and when he realized that the blood wasn't the right colors it was mixed with stuff and you know that you know when you get a cut it's just red and when it hits a, when it hits your lungs it's comes out like foamy and starts changing hues and he was he was like shouting that it was it wasn't right he was like it's not the right color it's not the right color It was pretty disturbing, but <clears throat> I mean, overall, overall, I feel a lot better. I feel a lot calmer Mo for the most part. I mean, my ADHD, I've been a little antsy. <laughs> my, uh, you know, my knee tapping and my toe tapping and um, had a lot of good energy. And I feel like I'm finally like in a place where I don't need to be smoking weed all the time. I don't need that release from, you know, rubbing one out whenever I'm bored. You know, it was taking too much energy from me. It was sapping that internal energy. And I mean, weed was part of that, you know? You get real stoned and it makes everything feel better. This is just Diet Pepsi. I don't really drink. That's another thing. I don't really drink alcohol. Unless I'm at a show or something. At a concert or celebrating with people. And even then, last few shows I've been to, I didn't even drink. One of the big things, one of the big vices, I'm going to call it a vice, is moving past my past moving on from my past through this time of quitting weed I've been watching coach one stack engaging with him in his lives and he has been super motivational to me. Help me out. Keep me accountable. Keep me on my path moving forward. And this afternoon, he put out a video about moving past our past. And it really resonated with me. One of the big things I did a few weeks ago was I took down a lot of stuff off of my walls from my ex Carrie, my ex Jenny, artwork from my last roommate. And I put them away, put them in boxes. I'm not good at compartmentalizing things, but it was time to just put that away because it was all reminders. Reminders of stuff that doesn't even exist. 
past doesn't exist. Those people no longer exist. I, from then, the, the me from back then, no longer exists. So I need, I need to move forward. If I want to be happy, if I want to grow, if I want to continue learning, continue moving my education forward so that I can be the best person I can be, I need to move past my history. And not just my exes, not just the friends that aren't around anymore, not just the death of my grandmother who raised me, who was, I mean, she was abusive, but she raised me. I need to move past Robert killing his wife. I want to say these things not to bring it back up, not to compare things, times and people, not to keep stabbing those knives deeper into my heart, but to ex express just, you know, where I've been, I guess, and but I think it scares some people. They don't know what to say, they don't know how to react. So they don't touch it. And they don't want to touch me. So this is like, like a testimony of accountability. For me to be responsible and stay on this path, this journey that I'm on. Not for anyone else's benefit, but for my own. Move past my mother's behavior, my sister's behavior. Move past the things I thought I could never achieve. The words that led me to believe I couldn't achieve those things. weight on my back balls and chains that have held me back more than any anyone ever in my life thought they could be responsible for I've had people come in my life and tell me you know they were just holding me back but in reality, it was me holding myself back by projecting onto them, making expectations based on historical interactions and situations that I need to leave in the past. You know, this is tough as fuck. My whole life has been tough as fuck. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I make my own life harder when it gets too easy.
because I like the challenge. I quit cigarettes and I left Carrie four years ago. Cold turkey. And you know, I never really craved a cigarette after that. But I'll be damned, man, it feels like withdrawal. Breaking up with someone I loved, I thought I loved. Even though it's better for me this way. And I need to get past that. I wish the best of luck to the people that have come into my life. I never try to get revenge on them. I never wish them harm or ill will. I don't want to curse them. I don't want to curse their names. I just want to be happy. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I just want to be happy. And I think... I think what I'm doing is putting me on the path towards that. Getting my health right. Getting my mind right. Getting my money right. Getting my school my education right, so that I can be the best professional that I can be. It's been, it's been a good week. I'll say that. I'll say that. I mean, this sounds heavy and dramatic, but it's been a really good week. It has. It has. And I'm really glad I'm doing what I'm doing now. I'm really happy about it. I feel great about it. And I want it to continue. Because I feel like if, if I let it continue, if I push it to continue, it's not going to bring me back to the old me because that old me has gone, but it's going to bring me to my best self. As Andrew at Narc Daily says, it's going to... We're going to become our best, most galvanized selves. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that I started doing these vlogs so that maybe I can help inspire somebody else on this path. Maybe I can help inspire another chosen one, someone with ADHD like myself, someone on the spectrum, someone with disabilities, learning disabilities, physical disabilities, someone feeling lonely, somebody out there trying to quit weed, quit their vices, and live a healthy life. Now this is for you. This is all, but this is for me. I'm doing this for me, first and foremost so that I can be the best mate to help others around me. All right, I'm gonna keep this one short. I'm not gonna rant and rave like usual, but I just wanted to check in with myself, check in with you. 
I hope you're all doing wonderful. I hope you're enjoying this beautiful spring that we're having. I hope you're all healthy, happy, living your best lives. And if you're not, it's going to get better. I mean, it's going to get better or it's going to get worse, right? If you stay stagnant, it's only going to get worse. If you're putting in any kind of work, a modicum of work towards being your better self, excuse me, <laughs> then you're on the right path. And it can only get better from here. <laughs> so, with that being said, I wish you all a wonderful evening. I'm going to get into some DCS. The F4E Phantom 2 comes out tomorrow. And I'm psyched. I'm so hyped for that. Hell yeah. I got into DCS over the winter pretty much specifically so I'd be ready for this. But I'm going to get off of here. Take some melatonin. Get to bed early. Wake up early. 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Start that day out right, start off strong, positive, maybe in a few more days I'll get back out to the forest, I'll make another video. <laughs> It's really nice seeing myself smile in these videos. I haven't had a lot to smile about in the past few years. <laughs> and the past couple weeks, I've gotten a lot better than things have been in the last few years. And, you know, that's because of the work I've been doing, putting into my life, but I've been watching a lot of motivational people here on YouTube. Without them, without them, I'd just, I'd be just as strong, but you know, I wouldn't have the support, the motivation, and the inspiration to do as much as w of what I'm doing. Coach One Stack, Zach, Motivation and Inspiration, Narc Daily, Terry Joel Jr., Daylo, Gazzavelli, check their channels out. They got a lot of good stuff to say, a lot of motivational stuff. <laughs> Alright. I love you guys. You're all beautiful. Keep walking your own way. Keep moving through this life at your pace. In your way. Don't let anyone change you. Stay strong. You're going to make it. We're going to make it. All right. Take it easy. Good night.